Hey guys, how's it going? We're back with another another episode of Oxen Free. So we met up with Randall in the last one, and I think we're gonna go meet Nona at the Watchtower. All right, let's get started. Hey, just for me, I want to know. Back at the bridge, why'd oh you flip the switch God. yourself? You could have let me do it. Don't I'm just curious. Repeat this. Uh, I just wanted to see what would happen, to be honest. I think I have to All go through this right. whole part again. God damn it. Okay, that you must gotta be, be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need... For the boats. Alright, you know, I'm just gonna finish Can this I section and something? get back to you guys. And we're back. All right, let's um, get to Nona at the comm tower. I tried to choose the same options as I did, as I did last time. Um, nothing new happened. It was just pretty much the same thing. You know, I didn't want to change the story. Um, just like that. So music's pretty nice. You know, it's pretty upbeat for whatever just happened. Oh man, you know what just jumped in my head just completely randomly? That show in the, uh, it was a horse ranch or a horse farm, but but that makes it sound like they have a little cabbage patch field of horse- What? What are you talking about? A year ago, out in Salem, we took over a stable and our band played and you- You ditched that test again, right? To, to bring us a new amp? Because during the sound check, we blew ours. None of this is sparking any synapses. Uh, sure. I- If I squint, I can kind of remember. What about it? Jump? Nothing. I don't know. But I can't believe you didn't tell Jonas this story yet. She had already blown off this, like, super important for school placement aptitude test once, and... Why'd you do that? Um, I think she was... indisposed? You know, I, uh, I can't even remember. I just hate number two pencils, man. Anyways, she was gonna retake it, and on the day of, I had to emergency call her way out in the... Just picture, like, Little House on the Prairie. I don't know what that is. It's, a uh, really? You don't know what Little House on the Prairie is? Wait, you blew off an important test to get him an amp? Really? That was a thing you did? Well, yeah, I mean, maybe I would have done things differently now, but, you know, whatever. And the funny part is, I'd taken that same test after dosing a bunch of cough medicine and I still aced it, so she would have blown it out of the water. And even knowing that, she still came out to help me. That's awesome, right? <sighs> of course he did. One of these days, Nate's dad is going to start keeping a tally of his medicine cabinet. And I will rue that day, let me tell you. Yeah, I think I'm with Alex on this one. She probably should have stuck around and taken that test. Really? Even if at the time she didn't care? How come? Hmm. Why do you think so? Listen, it's just... Like, if I was good at what you guys are good at, which is being smart, I wouldn't waste one of my few remaining test days on a show in a barn. No offense. Hey, none taken. I'm not that smart, Jonas. There's nothing really to waste here. If you say so. Um, I lost my train of thought now. I was, I was about to say something. God damn it. Also, what is Jonas still doing back there? Honestly, it's the second time he's getting stuck there. Oh yeah, what I was what what I was gonna say is it's two a.m. and I don't think I ever saw a um, frame where it said one a.m. right after twelve a.m. Which is kind of odd. Like, Made it. Me oh crap! This isn't. This is just coming out of speakers in the roof thing, isn't it? <laughs> She's adorable, isn't she? Ugh! My God, is this what I sound like? Yeah, those how can anyone just made for stand to listen to me all day? Yeah, let's see how she is. And, uh, so give my lungs a breather. My stupid chest's on fire for some reason. Smoke will do that. 
Yes, it will. Wowsters. Alright, we're at the comm tower now. I feel like something's gonna go down this time. Hey guys, I see you down there, and without Clarissa, actually, I'm going to stop talking since obviously isn't working, so just come on up and you can help or something. God, this stupid thing. She doesn't sound good, right? She sounds a little off. I don't know her well enough. She's, She's probably, probably at least a little scared. She was freaked out when we ran into her, and we still haven't found her best friend, so... Just... I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? Wow. It's kind of, you know, it's just about to start doing its thing. When did you take a second one? How many do you even have? I ate it right when we got back to the fields. I thought you noticed. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll, it'll bring me back up. That's what it does. If you're down, it brings you up. You better pray to whatever god scares you the most. It does level you out, because if this screws us up, you're on summary probation. Don't say that. That's not... that's not nice. Oh, god. I mean, I don't think having magic brownies in a situation like this makes it any better, but... What do I know, right? This man and his magic brownies, honestly. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, getting but it's like... Night. I don't know. What won't work? The, uh, radio? It, like, works, but... Uh, sorry, I was, like, weird earlier. But, hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been, like, out there. Uh, yeah, we Look, have. we tuned into something in the cave, and... It was like Gabriel sounded the trumpet. Just everything went terrible. And, uh, ghosts. Yes. Oh! Oh, I got it! This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. She's dead. Ren, what? <sighs> you could have mentioned this at any point. I mean, we walked right past it. I know. It. I'm sorry. But I've been, like, stewing in my own panic here for the last couple hours. My sister, Allie, worked at the park's office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a Burnout. Okay, so I ate, like, two brownies. Yeah, and one of well, them... Well, was... and I'm not saying it's the best plan, but... What other plan is there, really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop. And these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm still worried about Clarissa. Wait, set fire to the mug shop? I'm not saying literally do that. I'm just... <laughs> There's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to fighting. trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. Come on, Jonas, this is nobody's fault. Ghosts are never anybody's fault, certainly not ours. Yeah, yeah guys, this isn't really a productive. It we should be obvious together. to even the cheap seats that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex knows guys, she everyone needs to you know there's down. no television cameras here, right? Take the energy down a notch. Alex, I am not putting my life in his hands. This whole thing has been a complete joke to this guy. I, I can't believe you're even kind of defending him. Jonas. I know you said Ren is like harmless or whatever, but I'm over giving him passes. And you should be too. I don't need a pass from you. Alex is my best friend. Guys, yeah. stop it. Stop. The collective neuroses call a truce, okay? Yes, please. Look, I don't care what caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there what is, is a boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Yeah, it's not like... You know... I'm fine. Whatever, I'm ready. 
She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. Yeah, I'll totally go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You, uh... Just shut up. Both of you. Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of... Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Oh, no, not to come with me. Wanna come with me? What? Really? I mean, I guess. Why this are you isn't, making me shack up with this guy? It's my friggin' We've been plan. together the entire it's only night. My idea. Why switch it up and now? Then you take the Be quiet. Both of you. God. You're they like need to sit puppies. and sort You're not it gonna out. die if I go to the grocery store for ten minutes. This is a total punt, Alex. Yeah, this no, is it's fine. This will be a good... If you don't want to take sides, don't take sides. But no, nobody's happy with this. No. Ugh. Hey, Nona's happy. I should have left. You're happy, Ren right? And Nona. Um, sure. I forgot they wanted to get together. I completely, completely forgot about that. I should have chosen Jonas and not Nona, so that Ren and Nona could have been together. God. God damn it, dude. All right then. I guess I'm gonna have to go find the gate, gate key. Now, don't get depressed and eat any more brownies, okay? I still need you tip-top, all right? Good luck with the thing, Alex. Relax, both of you. I still need you, Jonas, okay? So keep your knee pads on, mentally speaking. I'll see you when you get back, Alex. Wow. Uh, mistakes. I wish they just they just don't kill each other. You know, honestly. You know, I do remember you from Mr. Tuttle's class. You You sit in the, uh, back, behind Jake. I just forgot. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, hey, it's, it's nothing to be sorry about. I don't talk all that much, so I don't know why you'd remember me. I'm also just, like, never there. It's a loophole where, I don't know if you know this, but if you ditch, you get a detention, and if you don't go to that, you get suspended. But suspensions are like paid vacation, you can just do your work over. So, it's like, what's the point? Ah, nice. Good tip. Thanks, I'm gonna use that. Yeah, of course. Oh, and don't tell anyone, but my birthday's in three days, and I'm having That's a thing, cool. and you're invited. I think Clarissa's out of town, so it shouldn't be a problem. Ah, sorry you had to spend part of your birthday week dealing with all of... Where am I even going? I have no idea. How do I get to main street? This. I'm assuming... Oh, that's no big deal. I don't even know why I brought it up. That's not true. I was thinking about... Uh, well, I'm worried about Clarissa and... Well, I was thinking about my last birthday when... No. Actually, sorry. Never mind. This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just in a fog right now. No, come on, I want to hear this. It was last year, your birthday. Go. Just, this was when Nicole was in her car accident, and so of course we cancel and go visit her, and I'm not going to pout about that. It's common decency. It's fine. But afterwards, after this totally emotionally draining night, Clarissa still came over and surprised me with this huge cake. And we stayed up and watched all my favorite movies, and she didn't have to do that. That's pretty sweet. That's sweet, actually. Anyways, my birthday's in three days, and I just hope she's okay. That's all. We'll, we'll find, find her, Nona. Yeah. We're not leaving yeah. without her. Ugh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's kind of... That's, that's sad, you know. If Clarissa's actually dead.
That was a long section of just unnecessary walking. So we're going back to the main street right now from the looks of it. So it's the Parks and Facilities building. That's down a bit, right? If I'm remembering the right building, I don't think it's far. Yeah. Yeah, hope I just right. hope Ren's not misremembering his sister's job or something. She's what are been. you... How did she get up there? What are you doing? Where have you been? Clarissa, where have you been? The last time we saw you jumped out a window. I, I mean, I thought... We thought you were dead. Clarissa! What? Alex! Christ, what's wrong with her? Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Alex, Quite the do you know what's happening? Is she... Is she gonna be okay? Clarissa, wake up. Fight them off. Take control of yourself. Um, hang in there, baby. Alex, uh, please, can you just... I don't know what you can do, but can you just do something? Please, just try anything. Like, uh, Clarissa! This happened to Jonas, too. It's, it's, uh, I don't know, it's like when they want to talk or something. Uh, God. Clarissa, can you... Can you hear me? Alex, come on, just please try and get her down. Elise, please, somehow. Marissa, can you come down? Ugh, she just looks awful. You think you can control me? No, are you not possessed? I'm trying to help I'm, you, yeah. I'm trying to help you. This is... This help me. Help me. How will that help me? I was looking forward to seeing you. Yes, I used to dream about something like this. It, it's helped the others. Ren and Nona, they've gone through the same... Gone through what? Their children have gone through nothing. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Oh. Is she... Okay, or she's... I think so. Oh, Clarissa, are you okay? You scared the crap out of us. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay, I are you sure? Because that mean. didn't look great. Do you remember anything that happened? I remember... waiting in Fort Milner and seeing you. That was a while ago. How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? The usual answer to any question tonight has been, I have no idea, and sorry to say, but this is no different. So, you're just blank? No, I remember something. I remember you, with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Me? Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. What's going on? Wait, what's what's going on? We're back at the... What? It's Clarissa's turn? Yeah, it's Clarissa's turn. And you, of all people, should know what my question is going to be, because I'm not going to waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new stepbrother are... Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and... I think it jump-started everything. I see. Yeah, but... But I mean, come on, like, who knew this would happen? We thought it was a weird trick of light or something. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. It she... was both of us. Jonas was there too. It's not like I decided to end the world tonight or something. Oh my god. 
You see this? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God. The town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking forehead. And the giant lit up Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. It like, would take what? a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. Ugh, she is a pox, Jonas. It doesn't make it my fault. Anyone could have been there, anyone, and then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick. Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough. Clarissa, that's enough. It's too much right now. I can't, I can't believe, ugh. She is- Seriously, enough. Nona, don't, just don't think of me like- I don't, just, Alex, this is none of my business, okay? None. But we came here to do a thing, and that thing is gonna get us home. So let's get home. No. Uh, Clarissa, what are you- All the Alex and free. Hey, whoa. Man, do you ever, do you ever get deja vu? Geez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Boy. Oh, constantly. I'm like the empress of deja vu. It's kind of been my... It's kind of been like the theme of the whole night, really. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Okay, well, the office that we got to try to get into is like right there. So let's try and whatever our way in. Yep, this isn't budging. Um, I don't know about that. I think, yeah, I think we can just bust our way through, honestly. The lock looks pretty worn. I don't get enough breaking down doors in my life, really, so I'm not gonna complain. <sighs> nice one. Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Nope. Cool. Carry on. To sign up for the aquatics program, please register at the front desk. Yes. What was uh, that? Okay. Has that happened before? Uh, I hate yes, it. Yes, frequently. It keeps getting funnier, too. Thanks, guys. Uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think think, but it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says, they're wall radios? Wave-assisted lock? Whatever that means. Oh, duh. It says right here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. So they're like ID tags or something. It must work for the gate to Adler's house, too. Uh, okay. Cool. Great. Ooh, wait. Wait, here's like a... Wait. What is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just wanna... Okay, here. <laughs> Steal a boat and leave. What about Clarissa? Have you already reached the end? Whom it should concern? This island and its history is a lie. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? What could that mean? What? What could that mean? I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edward's Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Forces outside our control. Like, like ghosts or the army or what was she talking about? Let me finish then. Inside you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within and discover the true chronicle of the island. Huh? What the hell is she talking about? It's like if we use these new radios, we can tune into 140.1 and hear like instructions that will lead us to buried stuff. I don't know. To whosoever finds the material, know that I'm discomfited in keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I help preserve. 
but also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly for the interest of time itself, Margaret Adler. Oh, <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Yeah, we've all had the mechanical unicorn dream, but I think I'm ready just to go home, to be totally face up with you. I don't hear anything. That's odd. There was that one cabin um, up at Bridge Stand. I think it was this one that had like 60.8 or something. <laughs> Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were gonna go swimming anyway. What? The sun is not out, the sun is... I guess it barely came out just now, but... Mm. See, this is when I get punished for watching the weatherman. He said it was gonna be like overcast. He said there was a chance for clouds. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? Did I almost step on a crab or something? Where's... where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? Never I mind. Just... <sighs> Never mind, I guess. Okay, Clarissa, take a note. Remind me to check the yearbook for a Jonas, so I can make fun of Alex's secret boyfriend. <laughs> Noted. Why am I here? How... Why am I here? What? You don't want to hang out at the beach? There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knick-knack shops or whatever. No, come on, Alex. Relax. We just got here. No, I mean in this time period. Ah, oh, jeez. You're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? It's like the worst time. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Yeah, perfect uh, day. Yeah, um, it really is kind of ideal, actually. Yeah, I'm like, right about to start sweating, but I'm not. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face, Mr. Collins English? Truthfully, I've, um, I've- Ah, sorry, I think, yeah, I, <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry because I do things like that. <laughs> oh God, you idiot, go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> okay, I guess. So, uh, <laughs> Do you... Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? Uh, forget it. It's alright. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close and like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I uh, totally understand. She's and so much yeah, nicer let's, now. Uh, do stuff, you know. Cool, cool. Yeah, Michael, she, uh, she seems a lot. He loves you like a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Yeah, well, I love him too. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to? Six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Actually, Clarissa and I had a nice chat while you were away. Kinda sorry to see you back so soon, to be honest. Oh, really? I'm sure Alex sold you on how I lock her in the basement and treat her like a shaved monkey. The version I heard was you trap her in the greenhouse. Yeah, well, it changes month to month. No, it was perfectly fine. Perfectly amicable. Amiable. It means the same thing. All right, sorry. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? 
Um, no, I'm good. Uh, yeah, get me a drink too? Sure. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's she the story? Needs a drink I want the news. I want the Alex first she's edition. Going right What's now. going on? I've missed you, man. I, I've just missed you a lot, that's all. Hey, come on, I've missed you too. And I know I've been hanging out with Princess, but it's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door. We live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night and board game night <laughs> all the nights. Yeah, sure. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... But I owe you. Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because yeah. that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? She... I'm not gonna... Stick with it. She seems nice. Stay with her. She was she makes very you happy. She shaken makes you up laugh, about Michael's well, death, I, I guess. Anything otherwise. Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I like, never she noticed. That's like a good-looking real... jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Ass. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. No way, Bucko. <laughs> Bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Wow, that was that was wholesome. That was very wholesome. Yeah, like I was saying, Clarissa, she acted like a little ass, but I guess it's because because of Michael's death. Alex, you know, I guess are you makes sense. all right? Are you back with me now, man? You've been acting like a, I don't even know how to put it, like a bird just flitting around in circles for ten minutes. I was about to like slap you or scream or something. It's been not fun to watch in light of everything. I, uh, I, I don't know. What was I doing? Well, let's see. First, you stopped walking, then you started spinning, slowly, like a dying top. And then you were talking about sandwiches, like in your sleep. I thought honestly I was watching your brain melt. Not fun. I, I was. Yeah, it was just like you, you totally lost all your wind. But. I mean, you seem okay now, so let's just get to the gate quick and do this thing and get home. Hey, why aren't you at the tower? This one got a little antsy. Weird stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? Anyways, are we happy? We are happy. We got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates in some magical way. Oh, thank God. I was getting nervous that you would have walked all that way and then not found anything. Seeing as how it was my advice to uh, do the whole thing, but it worked out so great. How have um, you two been? What am I working with here? How much leering am I gonna have to put up with? No, well, I'm glad we can leave, let's put it that way. Yeah, don't even tiptoe in the vicinity of a joke right now. I just wanna get out of here. Well, if the radio's the thing- It doesn't matter without Clarissa. Do I really have to point out that she's not here? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, should we maybe look for her, possibly? Even if the boat plan works, we shouldn't leave her here. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? Yeah. So are you going to try the gate thing, or...? First, we will eat. If we're still gonna go to the house, let's just do it. Try the radio, Alex. On the Lima, India, Golf, Hotel, Tango. For the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima, India, Golf, Hotel, Tango. For the ships coming home. The Lima, Lima India, India Golf, Golf Hotel, Hotel Tango. For the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima L India I Golf G Hotel H Tango. D. For like the ships coming home. H T uh, light. Turn on the light, right? That's probably it. Turn on the light. Oh, I know that because um, 
someone once told me that basically these huge words they're always taking the first letters right so it's like um i i, I don't really have an example i can't remember of remember an example for it but it's basically like if you want to say d let's say a b c you say alpha bravo charlie right that's basically a b c so because of that i that's how i got to know that it's l i g h t light turn on the light hmm turn on the for the ships coming home for the ships coming home right so the hardened tower is probably not the highest point what light where can i turn on the light rally point is there Milner's post beach let's just go into adler's estate Thank you. Thank you very <sighs> much. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a Just boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah. Happy. happy thoughts. Boys and girls, happy thoughts. There it is. There's the boat. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. Yeah. Ah, oh, she does have a boat. Yeah, see? Allie knew what she was talking about. She should, anyway. I mean, she had to slip back and forth here all summer. That's a lot of pictures. Oh. oh, it's like a it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office like with the radio? No. We looked through all of her stuff, I think. Huh. Well, uh what's plan B if we can't find it? Um, plan B. Keys, they, they have to be in the house for the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. That is a nifty gizmo. Sure is. Why are the lights still on? Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How would that make How sense? How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have like a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? There's no way. Where? In the back? In the kitchen? I don't believe her. I don't believe you. These windows don't even, they don't work like that. How would you know you've never been here? Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... everyone's okay, all right? That's a good thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, and just find a way home. I promise, we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Yes, fine. fine. Okay, let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. I'm gonna keep my eye on her. I do not trust Clarissa. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics and religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot of- Okay, we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Ugh. How are you doing? How are you doing? But then I scrap you as everyone. Are Look, okay? Jonas, are we, like, okay? I mean, because of the whole taking not you to town thing. <sighs> I'm not going to pretend it didn't bother me a little, but it'd be stupid to, like, tonight has been bad enough. I'm not going to crab about that. I mean, are you, like, mad at me or something? No, no, no we're, I want to be okay with you. I just, if we keep at each other's throats, I don't know if I'll be able to make it through the night. Me neither. So let's just not be at each other's throats anymore. There. See? Easy. Very easy, apparently. I don't trust Clarissa. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Attics are sh spooky. 
The chest is padlocked. Needs a combination. Mrs. Adler was either paranoid beyond belief or just a very tidy woman. Well, she buried information in sonically camouflaged containers, Jonas. My guess is paranoid. Oh, it's a... it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said. Hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. It's pretty cool, actually. No, I think it's pretty cool, actually. I, I could see myself doing something like this for the... the people I leave behind. Well, leave a cheat sheet for the laziest of us, okay? <laughs> sure, will do, Jonas. Will Wait, do. have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for a job. Or maybe they were back then, what do I know? Maybe they needed to chart... Uh, signals through space or something? Yeah, maybe. Alright guys, um, I'm actually all out of time for this one. We're gonna have to start back up from here in the next episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Not a lot happened in this episode either. Actually, no, you know, the whole going back in time and talking to Michael was was a pretty cool touch, you know. Really liked that part. Anyways, if you like, if you enjoyed the video, you know, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.